Officials say these are the two cars that crashed at Hope's Corners shortly before 6. The red car bearing most of the damage was heading west. The white car was traveling east following another white car at the time. They were going to uh, dinner before going to play cards. They're older folks in their 60s to 70s. But in the red car were four or five people, all either teens or young adults. Officials say it appears or may have crossed the center line, causing the two vehicles to hit head on. A total of 10 people taken to Albany Medical Center, three of them by helicopter. A number of them had very significant serious injuries. Uh, exactly whether they were life threatening or not, I don't know. But they, a number of people did have serious injuries or we wouldn't have called for the air evacuation. Take another look at the red car. You see how badly damaged the windshield is. According to officials, it's because the car is older and had absolutely no airbags inside. So if you look at the windshield on that uh, vehicle, you'll find that uh, people put their heads into the glass and it points at the importance of airbags. We also don't know if anyone in that red car was wearing a seatbelt at the time. Officials will continue their investigation, but at this point, both Miller's Corners Road and Burden Lake Road are reopened. Dory Marlin, News 10.